Hey, what's going on guys? What's going on YouTubers? I'm going to talk to you today about how I agree with Kenneth Meshway's stance on Israel and on Hamas. And keep in mind, if I was South African, I would not vote for the ACDV, for the African Christian Democratic Party. I would vote for the Democratic Alliance. So I'm not scoring political points on this. But Kenneth Meshway makes some good points about Israel. And let me explain. Okay? He talks about how Hamas is using its own people, its own citizens, because Hamas political party had has been in charge of the Palestinian Authority for a while. Um, they use their own people, their own citizens as human shields to block themselves from Israeli attacks. It's not Israel that's using their own people as human shields. It is Hamas. And he was right to condemn the ANC government for not calling out Hamas on doing that. Um, not calling out Hamas on using their own people as human shields. And he also talks about how Israel is not an apartheid state, okay? He has been to Israel several times, and one of the times he had went to Israel, there was an Arab bus driver and a Jewish tour guide that was giving them the tour of Israel. Isra uh, Israeli Arabs are allowed to serve on the Knesset, which is Israel's parliament, and they're also allowed to serve on Israel's Supreme Court. Black South Africans could not do that under apartheid. And Kenneth Meshway actually experienced apartheid firsthand. He had suffered under the brutal apartheid system. If an Israeli Arab mugs an Israeli Jew and um, they go to jail and get tried in Israeli court and largely get convicted, but that's the same thing if an Israeli Jew mugs an Israeli Arab, the Israeli Jew gets tried in court and gets sentenced pretty heavily. And that didn't happen under apartheid very much in apartheid South Africa. And Kenneth Meshway makes those points when he's done videos for PragerU. And he was right to call Hamas out for using Palestinian women and children as human shields. And the South African government makes no mention of that. And unlike the United Kingdom, the United States, and France, and the European Union, the ANC-led government in South Africa does not recognize Hamas as a terrorist organization. Which is sad. And he points that out. So anyways... Hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye.